Alright guys, welcome to the newest situation. And I'm on Twitch. I know I'm not usually on Twitch. Even if you don't know me on Twitch. I don't usually stream on Twitch. Which that was really confusing. Twitching. I know I'm not usually... Okay, just making sure my stream works and everything. Um, okay, so this is a new series I came up with. It's called Fortnite Forecast, okay? And this series is going to be discussing rumors, current topics, current situations, and what's happening in the Fortnite universe. So, there's been lots of, like, stuff going around on what's going to happen with the Comet, which meteors have been striking players down in Fortnite, and we will discuss that later. And I'm just going to go off and say right now, I do not have a script or anything for this, so I'm speaking off my mind. So if I forget some, I'm sorry. But I got like a few images uh, up right now. And it should be pretty cool. Uh, okay, so first thing I'm going to discuss is uh, what the skin I think that is going to be coming on Saturday. As you know, the Steel Sight skin is still out. I'm 90% sure. I didn't really check yet, but I checked like Fortnite Intel and crap, so I think it's still out since it is a new skin. New skins are basically out for two days. About, yeah, two days. Um, so, uh, this is what I'm assuming this new skin Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time is going to be because there's often new skins Thursday through Sunday. And, uh, no, I mean, like, the Saturday skin gets changed on Monday, about same situation. So, Saturday through Monday are basically new skins. So, this skin right here, this is a skin, I think, that is going to be added. Which will be pretty, pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. Oh, God, my, my stream is going to start again. Okay, um, which will be pretty cool. And I'm hoping that... I oh, might God. get it. I might get Oh, God, okay. dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I accidentally played my stream twice. Okay. So, basically, I think this is going to be a new skin on Saturday. And I might get it. Does it have, like, a back bling, though, is what I'm wondering? Does it have that bright bag everyone was talking about? No clue. And it looks pretty cool. I might get it. Might. I don't know it's rarity yet. If it's like epic, maybe legendary. Nah, I'm not getting that. And may if it's rare, then yeah, probably I will get it. I don't know what the bright bomber was though. So, so that's the first thing I just wanted to discuss. I just think this is gonna be a new skin on uh, Saturday night. There's there's no official confirmation, but since the leak skins usually come out around this time, I'm assuming it's gonna be the same exact thing with this skin. Another rumor that I want to discuss, and I have no idea actually which one I'm enabling right now. There's two right here. It says Fortnite Forecast Numero 1 and Fortnite uh, broadcast, Fortnite Forecast Numero 2. So uh, I'm going to go with 2. Wait, okay. So, this is this comes from Fortnite Intel. And this is going to, I'm going to be on this for a little bit. Warning, none of this information is official or confirmed. Do not take it as fact. So yes, this is all opinion, but this was what this series is about. Um, just theories. Theories is what I'm looking for. So, the meteor will be hitting Dusty Depot and not Tilted Towers as so many believe. Epic has thought this area of the map has needed an update for a long time. You know, real quick, let me just find a... Let me just find a uh, image that shows off the location so I could so I can demonstrate okay that's a small okay right here right here that's a good image okay let me just save this real quick I'll show it on stream I'm I'm not like prepared for this because it's the first episode I'm still trying to debate on how this is going to go. I'm going to later upload this to YouTube. But here you go guys. Here is the image. Now as you can see. It said Dusty Depot. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this is the current map. Yeah. I don't think anything else was that. I think this is the 2.0 map. 2.0.0.11. I I call it. So as you can see. The predicted area at first over here was Tilted Towers. I know you cannot see my mouse. Which kind of sucks. But you can see Dusty Depot right uh, to the right of Loot Lake. Dusty Depot. You know, I, I might try to center that more. 
just so y'all can see it. Yeah, Dusty Depot, right there. So, the rumor is that Dusty Depot will be the place to get hit, and not Tilted Towers. And as the post said, it's because they thought this area needed a change. Which, to be honest, I agree with, because Dusty is that sort of area that it's just not that good of a place. I just really don't like it. Like, I go there sometimes, and it's basically easy kills. Because usually everyone's just running around trying to get a gun, and once you get a gun, you could just go in there and shoot everybody. Please don't take that out of context. Um, so, what, they could do something bigger with this area. They could have possibly maybe a, another city type area, like Tilted Towers. They could have maybe like a, uh, maybe like a, so I can't think, I can't think of something right now. But, they could add something else there that could take up a lot more of that space. Which I think will be really cool. And I'm actually do hoping it hits Dusty instead of Tilted. That that would be a great, great change. So the map will always be evolving. The map has will be updated weekly in Season 4. Epic feels like they had a wasted opportunity with Tilted Towers going up all at once. They would rather had, have had bulldozers and a few raising cranes one week the next, than one building going up the next week, two buildings the following week, etc. Etc. Et yeah. So basically, what that's trying to say is that with Tilted Towers, let me pull this map back up. Because it's like a huge like little city, I'm assuming, situation. And they wish they only built like a few buildings at a time because you know how when they're when people when construction workers are constructing stuff, they have like bulldozers, they have cranes, and they have like all of this just all of this building vehicular devices. And I'm not I'm not no construction person. I'm not smart with construction at all whatsoever. But so what they're saying is they wish they could have had one like thing go out out at a time so have some cranes there have some bulldozers have like some maybe stacks and materials and stuff to start building maybe one week have the road done maybe another week have the buildings done like maybe a few buildings one week if another few buildings the next week if maybe a few weeks there have some grass grow and crap so make it so it actually progresses and not is all just added in one chunk so, say, for example, like, Wailing Woods, if they did that, it would probably have, like, a few trees growing at a time. Well, maybe not, since... Well, if Wailing Woods was naturally planted, which it could have been, like, you never know with this Fortnite geography crap, but, like, just, like, trees placed there. Grease, uh, gr grease, yeah. Trees growing every little while. Fatal Fields could have some, like... Could just have like the farm effort, you know? I mean, not the farm, the barn and crap. So they could have had a lot more uh, stuff to add if they went with that technique. And Moisty Mario will be gone by the end of season four, which I actually missed on this one until like just a moment ago. So Moisty Mario's down here, and I'll be completely honest with you, it does take up a lot of unnecessary space. Let me just take this back out here for a minute. So look at the map, okay? About, I'd say maybe like a good, good chunk of it's Moisty Mire. Wait, let me, you know, let me do a math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wait. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like eleven squares, basically. That's really big for an area. Like, it's one big area. Now, like, places like Retail only take up one square, Tilted takes up two, not full ones, but Snobby takes up one, Pleasant takes up, like, one and one-fourth of one, Wailing takes up, like, four. So, Moisty is huge compared to the other areas on the map. Unless you consider Anarchy a Acres to go out onto for, like, all of this, but basically just this one singular area right here. I say it basically ends over at that little farm area, but so if he, if they remove Moisty Meyer, they have so many opportunities they can do with it. They could build so many more things on this corner of the map, which I like, which will be great in my opinion, since they have way more opportunity, as like said in a uh, previous theory, to 
to do like the bulldozer technique and the progression technique with the building of the new areas. And the final situation is the season 4 battle pass is all superhero themed. There will be superhero skins and villain skins, at least two of them each. They aren't from Marvel or DC, just epic zone characters. And now this kind of relates with the other image I have. It's, wait, you know, I need to push this up real quick. Wait, give me, give me one moment. I'm not prepared. This image right here. Fight with Honor Season 4 coming soon. So, I think you can easily tell these are superheroes. You don't think they're superheroes, and maybe you should, like, look at it or after watching some superhero movies. Because I don't know what else that would be. It's, it looks like a Wonder Woman kind of person. It's obviously not since copyright crap. But, like, that little, uh... Uh, whatever that's called. And, like, a Flash-looking character. Kinda looks like the Flash from this one specific angle and the mask. Which, they obviously cannot have the Flash in it. But, would be actually pretty cool. So, yeah. I, that kinda removes, uh, me discussing that. So, basically that's all from that. Now, real quick. Uh, I'm not sure how I really show a video. Okay, you know, l l l let me let me do something real quick. Let me do something real quick, okay? It might take me a minute. Uh, window capture, boom. Now we go down a little bit. So you see right here, this video. This video right here. I'm going to play this video. Is everything up here? Okay, good thing. No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly play this video. Oh, and the meteor hits. See? Right there. So, let me... Let, let, me, let me replay that. So, as you can see, that's clearly a meteor... Since it did not blow up the structure, and I, you heard the grenade being thrown afterwards, like one of the first times I played it, uh, I played the video, which is pretty cool. And it's like it, the meteors are actually crashing down. Like, if you played a gamer right now, you probably end up running into it. And you probably have one explode on you if you are playing. So as y'all could tell, I didn't have much info for this, but I'm going to look up the patch notes for tonight. I was going to type for Fortnite, but nah, they just popped up, dude. That's some old news, dude. That's some old news. Okay, wait, how do I find the most recent ones? Okay, I know this is recent, dude. <laughs> How do you find the most recent ones? Four days ago, okay. Okay, so this is pretty much some old news, but since it's still kind of new, I want to discuss- Oh, I can still see my screen? I did not know that. Uh, you have the Klinger grenade right here, which is actually- I actually like it. Now, let me tell y'all something. This isn't like a theory or something. But some funny things happened to me with it. Like, I was throwing it to my... Putting it on my teammates. And one time, the teammate ran up to me. And I got, uh... Like, 90% of my health taken off me. Because it inflicts... Doesn't it inflict damage on your teammates? But it inflicts damage if your teammate's close enough to you. And I ended up taking a lot of damage. It's 50 v 50. And I think we still won. But it's still pretty funny. Another time I landed at Tilted, I threw one on this one chick... And then she got like, she was like shooting and stuff. And then she opened a chest or so. I think she got like an RPG and some clingers. So we were running out of like that little, um, little garage sort of thing and tilted towers. She threw like a few on me. One, uh, she threw two on me. I ran up to her, exploded her twice. And then an enemy came in, saw shooting at one of my teammates that was next to me, and then she threw another one to me, 
She knocked herself because I was right next to her and threw, shoot, threw a grenade on me. And I got killed by that dude. So it's basically just damage everywhere. It's just basically like I do as a joke because I know it doesn't hurt my enemies. I mean my teammates. And I probably won't use them in the heat of battle. But it's still fun. It's still fun to do. Now we don't care about Save the World right now even though I have at least 7... Uh, six save the world video, so make sure to go watch that. <laughs> so, clinger at it. Uncommon floor loot, supply drop, supply llamas, treasure chest. Now, also reduce the chances of finding remote explosives and minigun adjustments and crap. Porter Fort improvements. And this is kind of a big deal right here. Porter Fort. Tires no longer grant falling damage and immunity after players bounce off them. Porter 4 trajectory preview now indicates if it will build up with stilts and a lamp. And put a 4 trajectory now turns red if aimed too high. Now, is there anything else that's important? Oh, yeah, right here, okay. Short fences that will no longer block you from building structures. I did not know it did. The duo playlist can be set to no fill. First shot accuracy is now set when you crouch on crouch or switch weapons. Players now spawn closer to the squad mates on the starter island. Move the groups of spawn points on their starting island to be closer to one another. Supply drop loon health has been adjusted based on the playlist. So if you're playing solos and you're trying to shoot down one of those uh, juicy supply drops. Only 500 damage so you could probably shoot it down pretty quickly with like a scar or something. Duos at 750 because both your teammate and you probably shooting at it. And squads, it's 1250. That kind of makes sense since solo is one place 500. Duo, it's basically 250. Wait, you know what? Let me come up with the equation for this, okay? Y equals 500. Wait. Wait. 5 equals 250x. Wait, 550x? No, 250x. Times 2. I don't think that's right. The solo crap kind of messes it up. If it's only duos, it'd probably be... It'd be, uh... Duos is two people, so... Oh, no, it'd be Y... Equals <laughs> y equals 250x plus 500. Maybe. I don't know. Wait, you know, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Supply drops now spawn twice as high and fall twice as fast. So that's a pretty big update, if you ask me. Since they, like, you see supply drops in there and they're way higher than they used to be, they used to be way lower. And now they do fall twice as fast, so that's a plus. Builder Pro, fix an issue where primary fire could be interrupted when releasing down aim, aid and down sights. Fix an issue where sprinting could stop if you switch to build mode and attempted to quickly build a ramp. Fix an issue causing players' weapons to automatically fire after placing a structure and switching to the weapon. Fix multiple issues with supply drops. Now this is something new. Balloon collision no longer remains after the crate is open. Supply drops no longer get stuck on structures, trees, or in air. Fix poor four types went in air when poor four is thrown at a supply drop. Oh, I never knew that. Please no longer take take. Please no longer take falling damage when landing on top of top. That's cool. Fix an issue that caused doors to recoil after quickly spamming the interact input when approaching the door. Fix an issue that long. Building piece to edit mode when attempting to edit a different piece. Now I say this is the biggest part of the update right here. Let me just highlight this. Self-service cosmetic returns featured has been added. Now basically it's disabled at the moment since bugs and crap. But only eligible 
purchases made within the last 30 days are able to be returned, what can be returned, emotes, gliders, harvesting tools, back blings, and outfits. So any outfit you buy from the store, example, Raven can be refunded for 2,000 uh, Reeboks. But it has to be within that 30 day period, which I think Raven has surpassed. So if you got the Raven, I do not think you can refund it. But other skins that recently came out within the past 30 days can be refunded for the original price. Not at the moment, because it's not fixed. But you can't return the Battle Pass, Battle Pass Tears, the Starter Pack, the Founders Pack, the Founders Pack Upgrades, Loot Llamas, and Events and Weekly Items. Some audio crap, some performance crap, some... Art plus animation crap, some mobile crap. This is Save the World crap, which I will probably get into once I start doing more episodes and maybe streams on Save the World. So I do hope you guys did enjoy this little mini situation happening right now. If you guys did, make sure to leave a big like and everything down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. If you're watching the YouTube version of this, thank you for watching, and you can catch the next one on Twitch, if you look far enough, and Ethan's hosting me, so that's pretty cool. I'll see you next time, though. Peace.